The history of African Americans is steeped in a struggle against white supremacy and racial terrorism. From slavery to Jim Crow and from the civil rights era to the present day, African Americans have faced systemic efforts to enforce African American submission through political, legal, and violent methods. This video will explore why African Americans have largely remained silent. Amid normalized white supremacy in the U.S. The use of terrorism by white supremacists has been used successfully to instill fear and maintain racial hierarchies. The lynchings, bombings and racial violence of the past and mass shootings today are not just isolated individual acts of hatred but strategic tools used to uphold systemic racism. This historic and present-day backdrop has instilled a deep-seated fear in many African Americans, contributing to a sense of vulnerability and caution in confronting these issues. The Civil Rights Movement, while largely unsuccessful in eradicating systemic racism and white supremacy, did achieve some victories against institutional racism. These successes, however, often resulted in the assassination of our leaders. It also resulted in legal and personal violence and persecution against our people. The perception of progress made by the civil rights movement, for some, created an illusion of lasting change, masking the underlying structures of white supremacy that continue to persist. As African Americans of the civil rights generation have largely passed on, a new generation of African Americans faces the resurgence of overt racial hostility and white supremacist ideology. This resurgence has reignited old fears, leaving many in the community feeling vulnerable to this form of racial terrorism believed a thing of the past. While fear is a natural and understandable response to these threats, yielding to it is not the answer. History has shown that submission to terror only emboldens terrorists and perpetuates the cycle of racism and violence. African Americans, though a minority in a land where we have had to face relentless hostility, must find ways to stand against this renewed wave of white supremacy. Collective action has always been a cornerstone of African American resistance. Boycotting, peaceful protests, and unified community movements have historically been effective tools. These actions, taken en masse, can disrupt the status quo and force societal and political change. It's through unity and collective will that African Americans can counteract the forces of racism and white supremacy. If you are enjoying this video, please subscribe. Let's continue. But just as important as it is to fight white supremacy and systemic racism, we must go beyond what our forefathers did. We must also fight political exploitation and obtain reparations for our people. We cannot do this by cowering and remaining silent. Silence is complicity. We cannot do this by voting for the Democrats for fear of the Republicans. White supremacy in the U.S. is upheld by both parties. The Republicans overtly tell us how much they hate us and covertly tell us what they will do to us when in power. The Democrats pretend to be our friend but after obtaining our vote, silently do the same as the Republicans. As black people, we must effectively fight white supremacy, systemic racism and political exploitation while at the same time advocating for reparations. Reparations may be the only choice we have as people. A sober look at the U.S., our 400-year history in this nation, and the resurgence of normalized white supremacy should be enough for us to realize that the likelihood of living in America in peace as black people is unrealistic. Obtaining reparations will give us options as a people. One of those options is to leave the U.S. with the wealth needed to start a new life in a new land. But for those more optimistic, it will give us a chance to rebuild our communities and establish a self-sufficient economy for our people. In instances where national efforts are met with increased violence or systemic resistance, we must turn to the international community. Bodies like the United Nations and the International Criminal Court can offer platforms for justice and possibly intervention. A significant movement is gaining momentum in the United States, focusing on a critical issue. 
African Americans are committed to casting their votes exclusively for the Democratic candidate nominated for the U.S. presidential election who pledges to sign an executive order for reparations within the first week of taking office, preferably no later than the week of January 6, 2025. Should the nominated Democratic candidate fail to commit to reparations, African Americans are prepared to collectively abstain from voting in the 2024 presidential elections. It is imperative to emphasize that African Americans will not support any candidate who refuses to endorse an executive order for reparations by January 2025. If the demand for reparations is ignored or if Congress rescinds the Democratic executive order for reparations, African Americans will initiate further mass boycotts targeting corporations and the U.S. military. To comprehend the underlying reasons behind this movement, we strongly recommend watching a video entitled Reparations, Should African Americans Boycott the 2024 Elections in Return for Their Vote? This video provides an accurate depiction of African American history, tracing it from the post-slavery era to the present day. It vividly illustrates how both Republicans and Democrats have repeatedly collaborated to make promises to African Americans during election campaigns, only to renege on those promises once they secured the African American vote. In response to this systemic exploitation and the rise of normalized white supremacy, African Americans are embarking on this movement. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to learn more about the African American reparations movement and to enjoy videos about African and African diaspora geopolitics, politics, news, and history.